Good afternoon, April 22nd, 2020. Hello. Um, Ruby Newman here. How y'all doing? If you're watching this, you probably know who I am, so I have a limited audience, but I'm all right with that. <laughs> because those people who watch these busy videos are very precious to me. Yes, and that's okay. Anyway, um, today, well, let's give you a little bit of an update, but you probably all know my update already, but um, officially, technically, I'm on holidays. Yeah, that's right. Um, maybe I'll do a video on May 1st to officially uh, acknowledge that I will be unemployed. That's right. Uh, thanks to COVID-19, um, I have been home for quite a few weeks already. And as of May 1st, I will be laid off. So I'm still using up holiday time. So I'm technically still an employee. but And it's temporary layoff officially. But um, I'm still processing in my head what that actually is supposed to feel like. Anyway, um, so what I've been doing is kind of this week have been cleaning up. So I've just been reorganizing things. I've been off for three weeks, at least three weeks already. Um, and I've uh, been enjoying just organizing things and cleaning things up and doing that kind of thing. So uh, let me introduce you to some of the things that I'm struggling with, in other words. So, there's uh, there's three piles. When you do clean up, you have a, uh, what is it, keep, um, toss, and store pile. So, the keep pile is something you put that's readily available. Uh, the toss pile goes in the garbage because you don't need it, or it goes in recycling or whatever, depending on what it is. And the store pile is the thing you're not using right away, um, but you don't want to throw it out. So <laughs> it seems to be everything has to go in one of those three piles or one of those three uh, places, and it's very difficult sometimes to make choices on those things. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to a few things I'm struggling with what to do with. So... It's an anvil. <laughs> That's right. Um, I don't know where I got it from. I might have gotten it from work. I'm not sure. But it's a cute little anvil. It is actually iron. And I don't know who I got it, where I got it from. So there's no real emotional connection to it. Uh, That's right. That's another problem when you're moving things around is the emotional connection. Um, so I'm not really sure. But who knows. Maybe it'll be nice to... Anyway keep. I don't know why, but I'm keeping it. That is the top of a um, solar lamp that I got from my sister-in-law. So it's so beautiful. I like it, but it broke. <laughs> so the lamp part of it's gone, but I like this little dragonfly and I want to do something with this. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So keep or maybe store until I figure out what to do and put it back in the keep pile. I'm not sure. Sitting on my desk until I figure that out. Yay! What else? I have a pile of CDs. Fiddler on the Roof. You guys remember that one? Anyway, so the CDs either have to get downloaded into my iTunes so I can listen to them or they need to go into storage. So, I have a whole pile of them, actually. A real big pile of CDs. See? <laughs> That's not the epitome of my CD collection. That's just the epitome of the CDs that I pulled out of my CD collection from storage because I wanted to move them into my iTunes. So, I guess I still got to do that. Anyway, um, here's something. I don't know where to put. It is a Air Canada. See that? Air Canada. Um passport uh, document holder and since I have no plan on flying anytime soon 
I don't need it in my key pile, I guess, because I don't know if that's going to happen. But I don't want to lose it in case they get the chance to one day. So where am I going to put this? Probably will put it in with my backpack because if I fly anywhere, it'll go with my backpack. So I'm thinking that's where it needs to go. See, these are the kind of things that I'm coming up with and I have absolutely no idea where to put them. Hey, good news today. I found my address book. That's right. See, it's got all my, it's actually my manual handwritten address book. That's right. See, address is not on my call on my computer. And I lost that for a while, but I decided to clean up and guess what I found. So I, I found a phone number of a friend there in my address book and I called her today. And what a precious conversation. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, it was, it was a hard conversation because she's going through hard times right now, um, with her health and stuff. So, um, it was good. I called and, and good timing that I found this because I lost her phone number. So, yeah. So, um, but that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I do a little bit of cleanup. I call somebody. That's kind of where I'm at right now, trying to figure out what, what it's going to look like for me for the next while and a bit. So, um, here we go. She's in kind of extension. <laughs> that's if you got a really long back, you know, or you, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Back scratcher. Yay. Some wisdom. I found this in my collection, a little card that has a quote on it. I have learned that success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which one has overcome while trying to succeed. There's a little bit of wisdom for you. Anyway, um, yeah, what other kind of collection of stuff that I need to deal with? But that's, I don't know, little doodads. But that's... That's where I'm at right now. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, Lori, um, since you're so dedicated in watching all our, these little videos, um, I just want to let you know, I just went on YouTube and watched your 10-minute video from last year that you sent out to me and Cherie, and um, it was very inspirational for me. So thank you very much for that. Um yeah, so see, I, I, I go back in the archives and I look at those videos once in a while and just to see you guys, if I'm missing you, it's so precious. So uh, so thank you for that inspirational moment today. Um, and what else? I don't know. I think that's about it. But I think I'll come back May 1st because May 1st I have... Um, I have, what do I have? I've got, um, oh yeah, right. I started a, a, a journal kind of thing uh, this year. I started January 1st um, to answer 52 questions because I'm 52, but I started it in January. So it was actually technically 51 questions. So I think it was 52, but maybe I got to add another question. I'm not sure. Anyway, a list of questions that I've been answering about my life and who I am and my, yeah, just trying to figure out who I am. So I went back on March 1st and did a redo of some of the questions and I'm due to go back May 1st to, to go and see what the, if the, any of the questions have changed. Just personal, just kind of, you know, questions. Trying to figure out who I am. Who I am, quite questions. So May 1st, I will introduce you to a few of those questions and maybe see if we've got some different answers. Considering May 1st, I will be officially unemployed. I've been talking about that already, but technically I'm still employed. I'm just on holidays right now. Um, so, <laughs> so that's the scoop. Anyway, May 1st, I will come back for a visit and uh, see how things change up. And, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, this get getting to be a little bit of a long one, but that's okay. What else? I don't know. 
I got my sweet peas planted and my gladiola bulbs in. So I started gardening already, which is nice, which means the ground is thawed. The snow is almost, almost all gone. And I got into my garden, so I'm kind of happy about that. So yay. Anyway, I'm going to go now because it's 10 minutes and 13 seconds. And I might have just beat Lori's uh, video that she did for me and Shree a year ago. And she was thinking it was really long while well, this one got to be really long too. So, aha, uh -huh. that's it. Lori, I love you. Shree, I love you. Auntie Ella, I love you. And anybody else listening to this video, if mom watches it, well, anyway, um, I love y'all. Take care. Uh, till next time. Bye.